Welcome to Wisdom Trek with Gramps. I am Guthrie Chamberlain and we are on day 2415 of our trek. The purpose of Wisdom Trek is to create a legacy of wisdom, to seek out discernment and insights, and to boldly grow where few have chosen to grow before. In today's Wisdom Nugget, I'll guide you through the vast landscapes of biblical wisdom. Today we're delving into Psalm chapter 7 verses 6 through 11 from the New Living Translation. This passage is a powerful continuation of David's plea for God's justice and deliverance. Let's unpack these verses together and discover the rich wisdom they offer. Psalm chapter 7, verses 6 through 11. Arise, O Lord, in anger. Stand up against the fury of my enemies. Wake up, my God, and bring justice. Gather the nations before you. Rule over them from on high. The Lord judges the nations. Declare me righteous, O Lord, for I am innocent, O Most High. And the evil of those who are wicked and defend the righteous. For you look deep within the mind and heart, O righteous God. God is my shield, saving those whose hearts are true and right. God is an honest judge. He is angry with the wicked every day. In verse 6, David urgently calls upon God. Arise, O Lord, in anger. Stand up against the fury of my enemies. Wake up, my God, and bring justice. This vivid landscape underscores David's desperate need for God to take action. He's asking God to rise up and to confront his enemies with divine fury. David's plea reflects the confidence of God. David's plea reflects his confidence in God's ability to bring justice and his trust that God will not ignore his cries for help. The use of arise and wake up might sound unusual when referring to God, who is always aware and active. However, this language illustrates David's deep desire for immediate divine intervention. With the passionate call for God to manifest his justice and defend the innocent visibly. Verse 7 expands the scope of David's plea. Gather the nations before you, rule over them from on high. David recognizes that God's sovereignty extends beyond his personal plight to encompass all nations. He's appealing for God's rule and judgment to be established universally. By calling on God to gather the nations, David acknowledges that God's justice is not limited to Israel, but is meant for the entire world. This verse reminds us of God's ultimate authority over creation. No matter what the scale of injustice we face, God's sovereignty it remains supreme. He rules from on high, and His judgment is righteous and all-encompassing. In verse 8, David personalizes his plea. The Lord judges the nation. Declare me righteous, O Lord, for I am innocent, O Most High. Here David is confident in his innocence and seeks God's vindication. He knows that God, the righteous judge, can discern the truth and will declare him righteous if he is indeed innocent. David's request for personal vindication is grounded in his relationship with God. He trusts that God knows his heart and his integrity. This verse challenges us to live lives of integrity, knowing that our ultimate vindication comes from God, who judges justly. Verse 9 focuses on the broader appeal for justice, and the evil of those who are wicked, and defend the righteous. For you look deep within the mind and the heart, O righteous God. David is asking God to put an end to wickedness and to uphold the righteous. He acknowledges God's ability to see beyond the outward actions and look deep within the mind and heart. This verse emphasizes the depth of God's judgment. Unlike human judges, who appearances can deceive, God sees our true motives and intentions. His judgment is therefore perfect and just. David's prayer here is for his vindication and the universal triumph of righteousness over the wicked. For us, these verses serve as a reminder of the important internal purity and integrity. God sees beyond our external actions and knows our hearts. It encourages us to cultivate a heart that seeks righteousness and aligns with God's will. Verse 10 is the declaration of trust in God's protection. God is my shield, saving those whose hearts are true and right. David describes God as his shield, a symbol of protection and defense. His imagery conveys a sense of security and safety that comes from trusting in God. David acknowledges that God saves those whose hearts are true and right. This highlights the importance of the inner righteousness and sincerity. It's a call to maintain a pure heart and to trust God's saving power. When we live with integrity, we can confidently rely on God to shield us against all forms of adversity. And in verse 11, David provides a sobering reminder. God is an honest judge. He is angry with the wicked every day. 
This verse underscores that God's continuous unwavering commitment to justice. He is an honest judge who consistently opposes wickedness. God's anger toward the wicked is not a momentary reaction, but a constant stance. This ongoing anger signifies a commitment to righteousness and his intolerance of evil. It reassures the righteous that God is always aware of and responding to injustice. For us, this verse serves both as a warning and an encouragement. It warns us against living wickedly, knowing that God's judgment will is continual. At the same time, it encourages us by affirming that God is always on the side of justice and righteousness. As we reflect on Psalm chapter 7, verses 6 through 11, several key takeaways emerge that we can apply to our own lives. First, seek God's immediate intervention. When faced with urgent threats or injustice, boldly call upon God for immediate help and intervention, trusting His power to act. Second, recognize God's sovereignty. Understand that God's rule and judgment extends over all the nations and all creation. Trust in His ultimate authority and justice. Third, live with integrity. Strive to maintain a pure heart and live with integrity, knowing that God sees our true motives and intentions and will vindicate the righteous. Fourth, trust in God's protection. Rely on God as your shield and protector, confident that He saves those whose hearts are true and right. And fifth, be encouraged by God's continuous judgment. Take comfort in knowing that God is always aware of injustice and committed to opposing wickedness daily. Applying these lessons to our daily lives can transform our relationship with God and how we respond to challenges and injustice. Seeking God's immediate intervention in times of trouble deepens our trust in His power and love. Recognizing His sovereignty helps us to see the bigger picture and trust in His ultimate plan. Living with integrity and in maintaining a pure heart aligns with God's will and assures us of His protection. Trusting in God as our shield gives us confidence and peace that we can face adversity. And being encouraged by God's continuous judgment reassures us that He is always at work, upholding justice and righteousness. As we conclude our exploration of Psalm chapter 7, verses 6 through 11, let's carry these lessons with us on our journey. Seek God's intervention, recognize His sovereignty, live with integrity, trust in His protection, and be encouraged by His continuous judgment. By doing so, we'll align ourselves with Psalms' timeless wisdom and navigate life's complexities with faith and assurance. Thank you for joining me for this episode of Wisdom Trek. May these insights in Psalm 7 inspire and strengthen you as you continue your trek through life. Until the next time, keep seeking God's wisdom, cherish each moment, and continue making a positive impact in the world around you. And if you found this podcast insightful, please subscribe and leave us a review then encourage your friends and family to join us and come along with us tomorrow for another day of Wisdom Trek, Creating a Legacy. Thank you so much for allowing me to be your guide, your mentor, and most importantly, I am your friend, as I serve you through the Wisdom Trek podcast and journal. As we take this trek of life together, let us always live abundantly, love unconditionally, listen intentionally, Learn continuously, then to others generously, lead with integrity, and leave a living legacy each day. I am Guthrie Chamberlain, reminding you to keep moving forward, enjoy your journey, and create a great day every day. See you next time for more Daily Wisdom.